For the past six years, Dr. Peter Potokas and his students at Lycoming College have been prying up rocks in pristine mountain streams, searching for the mysterious underwater salamander known unlovingly as the Hellbender. There's been some great concern throughout the range of the eastern Hellbender that the species may be disappearing or at least declining uh, dramatically. And so we're concerned about how they're doing. And uh, right now in some of the streams up here, the salamanders are doing very, very well. Uh, in some of the streams, uh, the animals are not doing as well, feeling really poorly. Get a bag. Quick. We're out actively catching these animals and tagging them in an effort to assess uh, how well the populations are doing in Pennsylvania. It's a team effort. One or two members pry up rocks with lumberjack devices known as peavies, then the others, peering underwater, try to grab fleeing or retreating hellbenders. This day, the team found 18 hellbenders in two hours. Some hellbenders get little implants under their skin to determine how far they roam, and so the team knows which ones they have already captured. Well, they have thick skin. Similar to the chips common now in pets, the tags give off a number when scanned with a wand. Perhaps in the future we'll be able to implement some conservation measures to uh, enhance streams in Pennsylvania to support uh, larger populations of the eastern hellbender. But the long-term reality is that a killing virus lurks nearby. And like many creatures that need a specific habitat to survive, their future is still a question mark.